I think uh, we could not have uh, summed up this discussion better than uh, what uh, our friend Mr. Yunus had done, and therefore we would close uh, this session on this note, have the evening tea, come back, and sit with all expectations, uh, the, the exposition of Mr. Banerjee on management, some of the aspects of management. We now move on to item four of the agenda, which is one of the two substantive items, though very intricately related and woven with all other items of the agenda. As I had said in the letter, you have received with the agenda of this conference. We have made history in a way. There are institutions, countries, individuals, men of distinction and honor who have made history and history ended with them. Our history is a process, is a phenomena. Our history is related to infinity, both in terms of its life and quality. The history is now reaching out to us. It's rather impatient. It has to write its, the best chapters in its book we are asking a question, how to answer and respond to this call. We, like in every other matter, consider this also as our moral responsibility to fulfill the urge of history. We have stated in the agenda as to how we have done it and how we are going to do it in future. There are such a number of factors which again are interrelated and all put together would be our total response. But in the interest of saving time, we would deal with some of the items here, each one of which requires days of discussion. In our recent management committees meetings, we had discussed management for three days the agenda of that meeting was enclosed with this agenda. I do not know whether you had time to read it, but I think it's a document complete in itself. It's a thesis on management, just in three pages. We cannot discuss this item at that length. Of course, we would have opportunities to discuss in smaller meetings and smaller conferences during 1984. In this session, we intend to request Mr. Banerjee to enlighten us with his ideas and vision on the last two items, or between the last two items, sub-items of item four of the agenda, that we would fulfill besides doing many other things that demand and the urge of history by building up management for 100 years and beyond. There would be few banks who would be planning for a short period like this. Amongst us is a very eminent banker who has come from one of the sister banks, the first bank, uh, the first American, uh, the, the first American bank of New York, Mr. Richter, whom I am very thankful we are very thankful for coming all along, all the way from uh, in New York to participate in this meeting in spite of his very busy schedule, because I understand that he was about to, or he has just inaugurated the first American Bank of New York. With the very good news, with his permission, I may announce that they have, even before starting the operation in New York, acquired 24 Mr. Afridi, 24 branches, 
33 branches from Bankers Trust with resources of $400 million, about $400 million. I'm not suggesting that the first American bank should also plan the strategy of building up management for 500 years. Our planning is related to infinity. And our planning is that the streams of energy psych with management as their purpose, with management as a purpose, as an integral part of the energy psych, would flow on and on. And every time, it would be better in quality and stronger in vitality. That is one aspect of our dynamic planning. We will talk a little more on dynamic planning tomorrow. May I now request Mr. Banerjee to pick up the threads from here. Banerjee, you said BCC is, is a, a feeling-based organization. I see. There have been certain doubts about this statement as to whether intellect can be isolated. Uh, my answer is that nothing in a human uh, existence, in a human being, can be isolated. But we are used to looking at things by analysis. Without feeling, there would be no intellect. I think if there is no intellect, there still would be feelings. That is my an brief answer. Not that, again, I ha we have any quarrel with intellect. All that we have to understand is that intellect is the product of feelings. So we are always trying to tackle at the source, and that's all. So you, you say that BCC is a feeling-based organization. Please carry on. Again, interruption, and you had allowed me that uh, before uh, this meeting. You said that I have the liberty to do that. Uh, have I your permission? Certainly, sir. <laughs> so without it, I cannot proceed, I think. <laughs> Pure intellect, concepts, thought, articulation, perceptions are static unless you energize them. How do you energize? It is adding to them or integrating them, adding to them the energy, your energy psyche, to give them a further volume because in your psyche is much more than in pure particular idea. Either you have to add your energy and psyche to that intellect to give it a volume and life to move and flow and be able to interfuse and reach others or you have to make those ideas an integral part of your energy psyche. But this wouldn't happen because the perception and an idea isn't born before feeling, it is born out of the feelings, and by feelings I mean the energy psyche. So this is just to explain our concept. Not that I'm trying to expand on what you are saying. It, it was another question which was brought to my notice, and therefore I'm explaining that and trying to answer it. I would try to hold on and not uh, intervene now. Please carry on. <clears throat> Mr. Banerjee, I think this would be a very useful <coughs> concept when we discuss marketing tomorrow because there are some people who are all the time looking for marketing outside them in the outer world without looking into the inner world. And if they put questions to the inner world, it would become easier for them to capture the outer world. Please carry on. You have been making very fundamental statements uh, Mr. Banerjee, 
and this is the this is the nature this is the self nature of bcc this is the state of its psychic being they find all answers within themselves and not outside please carry on there is a lot of wisdom that is floating freely in this hall of splendor and history as i said but there is little time to absorb it to take it management is a subject which a lifetime would not be able to explain <coughs> and absorb mr banerjee has put very ably in his own style what bcc concept of management is it's not only the concept it's so many factors which are given in this agenda and so many more bcc had been trying to give the maximum cover in so many ways <coughs> by evolving its concept of management by creating and evolving a culture and an ethos in which we operate by the power and dimensions of the purpose to which we relate this conference cannot afford adequate time for discussing this very important subject i am not summing up the discussion on this item because this discussion hasn't yet started i think we should continue this tomorrow morning we yet to have many views from different members of the family we had a long day and now it is the call of the dinner that we have to respond to we meet tomorrow at 10:30 instead of 11 that means that we should start assembling at 10 o'clock and we shall continue the proceedings of this session may i ask you how you are this morning how do you feel do you feel humble and how is your spirit and what is the state of your hope <laughs>